Hi, I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This piano is a uh, 1987 Sojin, and um, back there in the shop, we have completely, very, very thoroughly refurbished this piano. So this is not uh, refurbishing that, uh, that we can get through in a matter of hours, much less a day or two. This is, this is refurbishing that's approximately 40, 50, 60 hours, something like that, and possibly even more. I can't remember exactly, we, we didn't keep, keep track exactly of the number of hours, but it was, it was probably a good week and a half um, of, of full-time full -time labor working on this piano. So everything that's entailed in that, um, well, actually, I'll tell you that in a second. First, I'll, I'll tell you about the, the cosmetics of the piano. Cosmetics are probably in, I don't know, probably B plus condition. They're in pretty good condition. There are a few little, nicks here and there, but overall um, it's, it's, in, it's in very good condition cosmetically. And that's, and that's as far as this, this, black, uh, this black finish. As far as the, the metal hardware, it's all beautiful, in perfect condition, shiny and new. The pedals are in perfect condition in the wheels, which, uh, which are as much cosmetic as they are functional. Um, and then on the inside, come, come get a shot of, of the inside. You can see that everything is just very, very clean. No dust bunnies anywhere, which is what I am used to seeing whenever I work on the piano, which is every single day. I see dust bunnies and, and paper shreds and pencil lead and all sorts of stuff everywhere. And this is, this is very, very clean. Um, okay. Uh, so, what we've done to refurbish, <clears throat> again, very thorough, the piano's only, I guess it's coming up on, I guess it'll be 30 years next year, 30 years old next year. Um, the first thing, first thing that we do after cleaning it, here's a piano action that I can show you. So the, the, uh, the hammer from hitting the string, of course this metal rod here represents the string, from hitting the string over and over and over and over, year after year after decade after decade, it's it's no longer rounded and it's just flat from where it's been worn away by the by the steel piano wire. So that's one thing is that we reshape the hammers so they're back to the rounded shape. So rather than a flat surface here that's hitting the string, it's a, it's just the crown, just the point of the hammer that actually comes in contact with the string, which is um, which is beneficial for the tone. Then we go through and tighten everything up. Everything gets loose after five or 10 years, much less going on 30. Everything without exception, every piano that happens to, to all of them. <clears throat> then, so, so look, you can, here's an example um, where you get loose parts. So not only do you get parts that get out of alignment and are no longer hitting where they're supposed to hit, they, they also click when they get, uh, um, loose. So we've got everything tightened up. We've got the whole action lubricated. So lubrication points would be, for example, the knuckles. This is the knuckle there. This is the rep lever. Um, we lubricate here, which is the capstan and the whipping heel. Lubricate um, in the uh, the damper guide rail. This part here is the damper guide rail where the damper rod goes up through. Lubricate it here in the uh, balance rail, front rail, all of these areas need to be lubricated after same, same amount of time, like five to 10 years. Um, but no piano ever gets this. Any piano that ever gets any kind of maintenance, all it gets is tuning. So, so like, for example, when somebody says, I, oh, my piano's in great shape. I've had it tuned every year. Well, it needs so much more, vastly more than just tuning. But, uh, but I think um, one, people don't know that and two, a lot of technicians um, don't necessarily know how to do all of this other stuff. Or three, the technicians that do know how to do this, um, they're just busy doing other stuff and so they're not really uh, necessarily apt to make these kinds of suggestions. And I think also some, some technicians, frankly, are, are afraid that they're going to come off like a, like a used car salesman or something like trying to get people to, they're, they're afraid that, you know, they're going to come off the wrong way. Anyway, so long story short, pianos don't get the maintenance that they need. 
So that's, that's again, that's just beginning, um, is lubrication, tightening, alignment, so that everything is hitting where it's supposed to be hitting, then a full regulation. So regulation is everything from like the dip, which, which is the distance here, you can depress the key, the key height, which is done there, proper um, squaring, proper spacing is done there. Everything from the strength of the spring here, the spring that is in the little rep lever notch, the location of this jack, the height of this hammer, the, the angle and the distance of this back check to the hammer, um, the, the damper lift, um, the rep lever, all uh, the let off, which is done right there, drop, which is done right there. All of these things work in conjunction to give the touch, to give the action just the right touch. So you, when you play the piano, you can play with proper nuance. You can play very, very soft, very, very loud. So if you ever played on a piano, that you didn't really feel like you could get the nuance that you want, then most likely the reason for that is because it was not in proper regulation. Okay, which brings us back to this piano. All of that has been done on this piano. <clears throat> so even though even though it's nearly 30 years old, I guess 29 years old, um, all of that's been done. It's in, it's in as good condition as it possibly can be. Um, it has a very it has a very bright tone, which, which a lot of people really like. The, the um, Yamaha has sort of popularized that, that bright tone, and this one, this one has it in spades. So it has a, it has a tone that, uh, or a, I guess overall sound, where it, you can just get a lot, of, a lot of sound for not a whole lot of effort. for a five foot two is, is fairly uncommon. mention as far as value I'm very well aware of, of pianos that uh, of, of what else is available I'm, I'm well aware not only not only locally but also nationally and and this piano is intentionally priced um, that I think is is frankly unbeatable as far as as far as value um, to do a full refurbishing in like what I've been talking about is several thousand dollars um, and uh, when taking that into account, and also I deliver. So if you're, if you're local, Utah, Utah Valley, or Salt Lake County, that's also included, which is several hundred dollars right there. Um, so, and then you tack on all of the several thousand dollars um, in in value that uh, that I'm trying to add by by going through it as thoroughly as I do. Oh, and and warranty. That's that's should be worth something. This is not an as is kind of piano. If there are any issues, I don't suspect that there will be. But if there are, then, then you know, we'll take care of it for you. Um, so I think I think that it's not just competitive. I think it's it's unbeatable when all of those things are, are taken into account. Um, anyway, so come check it out. I, I don't think that you'll be disappointed with it. Uh, 1497 South State Street in Orem, or you can call me on my cell 801 830 Or if you're out of state. I've sold a lot of pianos to people out of state, and it's uh, it's not as prohibitively expensive to to ship a piano as as you might think. So um, you can you can buy with confidence that uh, that that the piano as I've represented it today on this video is is what you'll get, even if you buy it sight unseen. Thanks for watching. <laughs>